Eurogrip tires by TVS. Not just any grip, Eurogrip. It's time for our Eurogrip Tires presents All About the Grip, a very special segment and a series with Stephen Smith here to take us through what goes behind playing some of what we still think are high risk but high reward shots. Stephen, this is one you'll enjoy, the scoop. There are many forms of it, so why don't you take that thing that you've tormented so many bowlers with <laughs> over the years, maybe that's a lighter bat, but the scoop is such, it's almost, you have to have it in your bread basket if you want to be a modern day player. What's the first thing that batters must keep in mind when they play the scoop? Yeah, I think it's a shot you see played a lot more regularly these days. Um, you know, it's a, a productive shot to hit a boundary. Um, you know, quite often these days you see fine leg up at the back end of a game. Um, so if you can somehow get that guy back, uh, you know, you find another gap on the field somewhere where they've got to bring someone else up. So. For me, or, or even in the power play, it's a, it's a productive shot. If, you, if you've got to have a fine leg back, you know, it opens up somewhere else on the yep. field as well that, that you can score your boundary. So for me, I think, you know, some, some really good exponents of it around the world. I, I think Joss Butler's probably yes. one of the best at it. Um, I think the ability to play it off all different lengths is what makes him really good. He can hit, his, hit a Yorker in that position. He can hit a good length ball. And even if it's short, you see him still be able to get up and help it up on its way as well. So. Mm. I think for me, the keys to playing this shot, you've obviously got to get yourself in a position. So you see a lot of players, and I think I do the same, try to do it quite late so the bowler doesn't get a cue. I sort of put my foot back first, and then I'm able to bring it back across this way so I can get myself sort of facing forwards. Um, you know, it's a pretty tough shot to play if you're still side on to get it up mm. and over yourself. Um, something probably Richard Pant can do, the way he plays that, that pull shot almost. He yep. still stays quite side on, but he's a bit different to a lot of other people, I suppose, in that respect. But I think, yeah, getting front on, the next key, I think, is to get your hands down. So for me, I change my grip slightly. All so right, let's talk about the grip then. Yep. We'll start with grip. Okay, so I, that's my normal grip. For me to play the scoop, I just move both hands slightly open so the face is nice and open so I can go up. Um, so that would be from you know, pretty much in the V there to both almost, I don't know how you'd explain it, the V facing about there yep. on this right hand and almost the back of the bat um, this way. So, so do that to me in real time now. You're taking a stance, yep. balls delivered and your hands go whoop. Okay. Bang to there. And yep. I'd be trying to get myself quite low down. Um, getting my hands down nice and low so that if it's a full ball, I'm still able to get the bat in that angle to help it up on its way. So if I don't get my hands down, I'm gonna struggle because you know my bat's not on the mm -hmm. angle to be able to get it up and over either that man or fine enough past the, um, the fine leg that's, that's back. So you gotta get your hands down nice and low, which will enable me to play it to a really full ball. If it's a little bit shorter, I can sort of just come up with it and help mm -hmm. it on its way and then if it's really short, it's just the ability to almost rise up with it and then yeah. help it on its way as well. So, you know, I've actually played it quite a lot the last few years in, in the short form. I feel like for me, it's a productive shot. It's nice to, um, to get that man up, uh, sorry, get that man back. Yep. Um, if he's up or, you know, if he's really wide, I feel like I can play it quite fine over the keeper even. So, you know, it's a good shot when you can sort of read what the bowl is doing and if they're going to bowl a pace on delivery, it's a, it's a good one to have in their armory. I'm guessing it's also, like you said, a versatile option no matter what the length is, right? You can always adjust. What I'm going to ask you to do now might be a little hard with the jacket and yeah. the formals <laughs> and the wires behind you, but sometimes the line can be anywhere, right? You get into a position and let's say you're anticipating the ball to be here, yep. but you end up getting a ball that's wider of off stump. Bowlers followed you, yep. but you still want to go through with the shot. So I've seen a lot of dancing that happens there. Why didn't you do some dancing for so me? So I've actually played it a couple of times when it's been a bit wider, mm. uh, having anticipated that it was going to be quite straight, but it's kind of a difficult shot to uh, back out of once you've gone into it. So you can, all, if it is wide and you really want to back out, you can probably get in this position and just like get Lock your bat it. in the way and, <laughs> and find a way to get down the other end. But I've also on a couple of occasions ended up on my backside. I'm not going to do that here. I'm not going to fall <laughs> over, but it's basically like you, you know, you go this way, you go here, and then you've got to keep going further to yep. try and get that 
your body outside of it so you can actually get Let it Let me up move away, give you some more space. <laughs> so you can actually get it up and over and then, you know, I've fallen over a couple of times doing that, but I've actually got the ball away for a boundary. So, um, yeah, look, it's a, it's a really productive shot these days and you see so many of the modern day players playing it because it puts the bowler under so much pressure having to put that man back. So, yeah, yeah it's a nice shot to have in the armory. My God, they say fast bowlers have it hard, but just watching you do all of that, I have great respect for the batters now. Jeez, I'm, 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 I'm puffing <laughs> after trying to play all those shots. <laughs> there you have it. It's not easy, even for one of the great modern masters of the game. But that is everything that goes behind playing a productive scoop. And that sums up yet another Euro Grip Tires presents All About the Grip. Euro Grip Tires by TVS. Not just any grip, Euro Grip.